everybody. It's Taylor from Urban Furniture Outlet. Um, today, we're going to be talking about goal setting and specifically how to set SMART goals with our team members. Um, we are coming off of January, the start of the year. We've been talking about uh, having one-on-ones, setting SMART goals with team members. And um, I love the energy. I love the ideas and the goals that I'm hearing about. Um, I want to revisit us uh, making sure that we're setting SMART goals. Um, so when, when we say SMART goal, uh, that is an acronym, and it stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Timely. Um, I think a lot of times when we set goals and we fail, it's because we're, we're setting a goal that feels like a, a try harder. Um, and I'm going to give an example of that. Um, I set a goal that I am going to be on time and my plan for being on time and, and not having any more lates is that I, I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to be on time. I'm going to try harder. Um, I want to work from the assumption that everybody, uh, comes in every day with the, with the, uh, motivation to do well. Um, and I kind of believe that they're already trying hard. So, uh, so trying harder is not specific, it's not measurable, um, and it sets us up for failure because if we already kind of felt like we were trying before, um, it doesn't really give us a, a strategy for being successful this time. Uh, so an example of turning a, a goal like being on time into a SMART goal would be to be more specific. Um, I'm gonna leave my house five minutes earlier I'm going to do a time trial uh, for the next five days and I'm going to um, keep track of how long it takes me on the route that I take to work so that I have a better estimate that when I thought it took me 15 minutes, it's actually taking me 20 minutes. So I can set an earlier time because now I have the facts to know that it actually takes me longer to get to work on average than I thought it did. Um, so when we're able to help our team members be specific um, and set measurable goals and have those mile marks along the way, it increases the likelihood that we're gonna help them attain those goals. Um, so I'm gonna talk uh, just about a couple different examples just to help us refine our, our team's goals a little bit. Um, another common goal that I hear with, uh, with our sales team is that they wanna increase their monthly sales numbers, their delivered business. So I think that that is a great goal. Um, again, how do we make it specific? How do we make it measurable? Um, there's a lot of things that go into increasing sales. So um, first we want to focus on the realistic part that are in the SMART acronym. Um, so I would definitely recommend that you look at your associates sales averages as well as their average tickets <clears throat> over the last several months because um, it's not gonna be a good idea for them to set themselves against somebody who um, is, is way different with where they are sales-wise. Um, the best person to measure yourself against is yourself. So looking at the history and um, finding the averages that they've been doing, um, talking to them about what strategies they're using when they are in the sales situation. Um, but first, you know, making sure that we're setting a realistic goal um, by looking at what they've actually done in the past. The next piece would be uh, to develop specific strategies of how they're going to get to that goal. Um, again, if we're looking at a salesperson and we know that they have X amount of sales in a day on average, um, maybe we're looking at what the average ticket needs to be for each sale that they convert uh, to get them closer to their monthly goal uh, or weekly goal. So um, average ticket is a good metric. That's a good measurable that we can use to try to, to get a person closer to their goal. Um, Add-ons is another one. So maybe we're, um, we're using add-on like our surf code protection plan and making sure that we're promoting that with every sale interaction. And, and that's the way to build that ticket. And that's the way to get closer to that goal. So um, making sure that we're breaking down that monthly number into a weekly number, possibly into a daily number, possibly into an average ticket number to make it more attainable and more, more um, measurable for that associate. Um, goal setting, goal achieving is definitely a team. Uh, it takes a team approach. 
Um, we do better. I, I would say that the A, you know, was smart. It, it stands for attainable, but I would also say that accountability is a good uh, is a good thing to think about when you're setting a smart goal. Um, when I have a goal that I'm really serious about, I tell other people in my life close to me about it, and that's to keep me accountable. So when I say it out loud, I'm committing to the group that this is something that's important to me, and this is something that I want to achieve. So hopefully the, those cheerleaders in my life are going to um, to keep me focused on my goals. So the days that I don't feel like I'm as focused, they kind of remind me about my wins and help me find opportunities where I might not see those. Uh, so accountability um, definitely helps with, with helping our team with their goals. Um, other examples, um, it, pull the warehouse into this. Uh, we want to reduce delivery errors. So again, like, when you're setting, that's a really good goal that I don't want to have mispicks and I don't want to have mistakes on delivery, um, but it sounds like a try harder goal. So uh, so what we want to do is we want to measure how many errors are actually happening through the course of the month. And then let's set a realistic goal of where we think we can be uh, and, and how we think we can get there. So ways that we think we can get there, it could be uh, making sure that we're enforcing the the pre-trip inspection, that all the right items are on the truck. It may be that um, we're having startups every morning and we're reviewing the delivery tickets together to catch some of these mistakes. Uh, it could be rewarding when we see those numbers going down. So um, so there's ways for us to kind of get in into being more specific. A lot of it is being measurable and using the metrics that we have available. Some of it is understanding that none of us work in isolation. We are a team. And so sometimes in order for us to help our team attain their goals, we need to be better in terms of supervising, supporting, training them uh, so that we can position them to, to be successful. So, um, so that's it. Uh, smart goals. Again, um, I love the goals that I'm seeing. Some of them, I think we got to work with our team members to dig in a little bit more to make those SMART goals. Uh, and again, SMART is specific, measurable, attainable, but I also threw in there accountability because I think when we vocalize our goals with our team, um, we're holding each other to a higher bar and it makes us feel like we wanna save face and we, we, we wanna achieve those goals more when we know that other people know about them. Um, Realistic, uh, again, looking at the history, tracking over the next couple of days, a couple of weeks, uh, what we're actually doing or what we've done in the past and, and what we wanna be doing. So we're making sure that those are realistic goals for us based on where we're at. Uh, and timely, when is this goal gonna happen? When are these actions gonna happen? If I'm gonna make five follow-ups to customers waiting on delivery to offer ServCo, am I doing that a day? Am I doing that a week? And who am I letting know about that so that, that we make sure that I'm on pace? So um, so kudos to all my managers for doing such a great job with their one-on-ones. Mm -hmm. uh, kudos to our team members for setting some great, great goals. Uh, let's dig in a little bit. Let's roll up our sleeves. Let's make those goals smart goals. And um, thank you all for joining me today. <laughs>